These are the masters of speed. This is Formula One. Hello there, welcome back. So, we're at the Miami International Circuit. It's another wet setup. Here we go. So, this is where I've gone. I've just taken the dry setup that I had already created a few uh, weeks ago. Uh, this, the Miami setup is on the channel. It's in the playlist, uh, as well as all the other setups that I created. So, I took the dry setup, and this is what I did. For the inter setup, I went plus two. For the, if you need a wet setup, go plus four. So, plus two on the front wing, plus two on the rear for inters, plus four or plus five if you need it um, on the wings for wet. L listen, right? There is no um, definitive um, scale that you can use on the wings. If you need more aero because you're slipping, sliding all over the place, add more aero. You just need to remember that the more aero you add, the slower you will be. Um, I'm racing against 105 ai and i i'm not gonna lie in the wet i struggle but then that's uh me that's my driving style that's you know that's on me but this is what i've gone with for the inters um obviously because i'm doing it as an inter setup in a minute but if you need wet setup obviously add another two to the front wings just remember the more aero you add uh to a setup the slower you will be on the transmission then and the only thing that i've changed on the transmission is um i've taken the on diff down to 30 it was originally on 65 i've taken it down to 30 um i've not touched anything else because uh you need as much traction as possible out of corners and uh, a lower on diff will aid with better traction on the suspension geometry then and you'll be shocked to find that i've changed nothing because it's left 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 it still works exactly the same as a dry setup on the suspension then and just like the other wet setups i've changed three things i've kept the front suspension the same i've kept the rear suspension the same i've changed the front anti roll bar from 21 to 18. i've changed the rear anti roll bar from 21 to 16. I've changed the front ride height from 22 to 26 and I've kept the rear ride height exactly the same. The reason why I've changed the front anti-roll bar and the rear is because you need you don't need um, a stiffest car, uh, a stiffest car, a firm car. You, you, you still need a firm car, but you don't need it as firm uh, in the wet or in or wets. Um, and again, if you need it less stiff, or less firm take it down a little bit more it's entirely up to you and the reason why i've gone up on the ride height is simply because if any puddles form especially in uh wet races uh, you do not want to hit the um puddles because you will bottom out and unfortunately that will it, it's like going on the curb at jetta uh if you get too much on that one curve it just catapults you forward straight into a wall uh, and the same will happen um, and you have to remember there are elevation changes around uh, Miami. Not much, but that uphill chicane um, at the end of sector two, on, almost at the end of sector two, you need to be mindful of that, um, especially when you're going around the long uh, right-hand corner. On to the brakes then. I've kept the brakes exactly the same. I've not changed the brakes, but again, you change them if you need to. And, you know and if you're running abs on this doesn't even apply so it's all good onto the tires then and i've kept the tires exactly the same exactly the same and yeah this has been miami uh miami in doesn't wet setup as i said the only thing that you really need to change are aero uh the on diff and then the roll bars and the ride height that is it everything else can stay exactly the same as um as the dry setup i'm not gonna lie if i was to um race and it would start off inters and then go dry or start dry and then go to winters i probably would not uh change anything i, I would just run a dry setup and keep it as that but that's just me um like i said let me know what you think of the setup down below love to hear from you 
do all that good stuff. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. And I hope you have a good day. You take care, guys. Peace.